you've ever wondered how you could make money using the free tools, not even Midjourney, not Dolly3, but free tools, today I'm gonna to show you exactly how to do that. We're gonna generate designs that are backed by product research that show that they have high sales, and we're going to recreate them in AI, we're going to put them on a pillow in Printify, and then we're going to actually push that product to Etsy, TikTok, or Shopify, and this applies to wherever you are selling. Let me show you exactly why I'm choosing pillows today. So I found this store, 127 weekly sales on average, 32,000 sales total. And I did the math and that's about 750,000 in revenue total for this store. Now take a look at their products. It's all home good products, but a large majority of their current winning products are pillows. So this is an example of a store that started in 2019. I thought maybe they were already established. Maybe they got lucky. Are there really any other stores succeeding with pillows? And so I kept digging and here is what I found. Here's another store, this one in 2021. So the last one was 2019, this one's 2021. 182 weekly sales, 17,000 sales total. And if we scroll down, they are almost exclusively selling pillows. So in this case, these are all designs that can be generated using artificial intelligence and not only that, but free tools. So let me show you one more store. And so this store, Puddlewick Road, started in 2023, middle of 2023 to be specific, and they are already on track for 74 weekly sales, lots of weekly reviews, and they are selling mostly pillows in a very unique style. So I pulled up one of their listings that's trending right now. This is how I know that it's selling. We have a bestseller tag here from Etsy that says that it has high sales volume over the last six months. And then we have in 20 plus carts for shoppers right now at this moment. And then if we scroll down here and look at the reviews for this item, we'll sort it by most recent and we'll see January 5th, January 3rd, December 31st, December 30th. These are all very recent purchases, very close to each other. And that tells me that they're getting a lot of sales on this particular item. If you can't tell from my background, I love houseplants. So this is one that I wanted to experiment with. And I saw several different stores selling pillows with bohemian, like desert colors, and then of course different houseplants mixed in as well. And the next one, I actually put pillow in my prompt. And so it actually put the design on a pillow and that's not really what I'm looking for. So I regenerated again, and I'll show you here in a moment how to actually use this tool. Um, but here are the prompts up above each of these four images. You'll see the prompts that I used. And so here I'm getting a lot closer to what I was looking for. So one thing to be aware of is that Leonardo has many different styles. You're going to choose here in the fine tune model between many different styles. The best results that I got were from Leonardo Vision XL and Leonardo Diffusion XL. Those were some of the best results that I received. And so you can play around with the different models. You can also add in some elements. If you're looking at a specific style, you can see here there's folk art, crystalline coloring book, different types of elemental styles preferences that you could add but you can also just type in painting or or illustration like for example down here I saw a, another design that was working really really well for a seller and so I decided to try and recreate it here I think that there are some good um, designs that came from this however um, you'll see that I just told it patchwork style and it came back with this particular type of style same thing here cute dog patchwork style and it came back with this almost quilted patchwork style. Now, if you notice at first, they look a little blurry. In order for them not to look blurry, you're gonna click on the Alchemy Upscaler. Again, several of the Etsy sellers just had very abstract um, art for their pillowcases. And so these designs, I feel like all of these would work well. These here definitely fit within the theme that we're looking for to try and recreate the same success. We're not looking to copy exactly what this person has done. Of course, we're never going to get exactly down to the pixel what this person has created. However, we want to try and see if we can create something similar better if possible. Put your own creativity in. Everyone has their own creative eye and their own way of improving things. And if you take something and you just study it for a moment on how you can improve it, and just get curious, then you can often end up with a design that has high potential already, but because you're going in and improving it and changing it, it's just gonna end up even better for you. So that's gonna be your advantage. Again, up here at the top, I had abstract modern painting, house plants, and these were some of the designs that came back. So real quick here, if you go to the homepage of leonardo.ai, you'll see all of the different generations that people are making. A lot of them are characters, 
but not necessarily all of them. For example, this here is more so like a sticker. This would work really well on TeePublic or Etsy or anywhere you're selling stickers. This would be perfect for that. And all that you would need to do to create something similar would be to click this remix button and then it's going to create something very, very similar based off of this image. Now, if you would rather just create from scratch or you'd rather upload your own images, you can click on the image generation tab back on the homepage. Your generation history is the first tab here and then image guidance is going to be an important tab for you as well. You're going to have the ability to upload images and generate your images based off of what you've included. But what makes Leonardo different from what I found is that you can upload up to four layers of image guidance. So this is this is pretty unique. You do need the premium version for that. This time I'm just using the free version, just trying it out, just showing you what's possible with the free version. Nothing that I've done in here so far has been premium or paid. Um, and every single day, you're gonna have the ability to generate anywhere from five to 15 images based off of what models you're choosing and what details you're choosing to generate those. Up at the very top is where you'll actually put your prompt in. You can take out the existing prompt if there's one there put in your prompt and then whenever you hit enter it will go ahead and generate based off of the settings that you have here on the left now let's quickly cover these settings up at the top you're gonna have your credits now every day as of the filming of this video, you have 150 credits unless you upgrade. You can also choose how many images to generate. Um, you can choose between one and four on the free version. I'm assuming on the paid, you could go up to eight. Photo Reel, basically, um, it's pretty new, but it allows you to generate hyper-realistic photos and lifelike portraits. You do need the paid version for this. Prompt Magic, you can turn this on. However, it does cost you more credits overall, but what it's gonna do is basically expand on your prompt and try and give it more depth. Um, I would go ahead and turn this off though, that way you can generate more images. Of course, you're going to want to choose the dimension that works best for you. A lot of the times, um, what I work with is the 768 by 1024 or the 1024 by 768. These are just the basic features. There's also real-time canvas, which I think is incredible. And then let's go ahead and type in our prompt. So obviously, as you can see, it's still in beta. It's not perfect. I'm just kind of messing around with it to see what's possible. There are also motion graphics. So just to give you an idea of how fast and how far AI has come and how, how powerful this, this tool is, you can actually generate small video clips. Um, you know, in this case, I said a, a illustration close-up science kid reading a book, surprised in face and awe with, with surrounded by dinosaurs. Really interesting. It's not perfect, obviously, but still it's a lot better than what we've seen in the past with tools when it comes to generating text to video. This is strictly text to video. Um, in this case, a captivating image of a menacing predator poised in a vast field with a stark contrast between light and dark. So you have to give a pretty specific prompt in order to get out um, some good outputs. And then as you can see, there's obviously some things messed up. However, just wanted to show you that, thought it was pretty cool. So if we wanted to actually take these designs and put them on a product on Etsy, we're going to need to use a print on demand supplier. And in this case, I'm gonna recommend Printify. Now, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know I recommend Printify. I'm gonna drop a link below. It's my affiliate link. Join via that link and you're going to be able to join for free and you're gonna be able to start selling products like this today. So that helps me offer more value to the channel. I sincerely appreciate it. Let's continue going forward now. Let's show you what it looks like taking one of these images, actually putting it into Printify and pushing it out to our Etsy store, Shopify store, and everywhere else that we can sell these products. Now, again, before we can actually upload this, we need to actually increase the size on this photo to make it a higher resolution so that it fits on our products without making it blurry or anything like that. Now, a few years ago, this was actually a pretty difficult task to do. You would need to work some pretty interesting computer magic, but these days, all you need to do is use this free tool called Big JPEG. It's, I believe it's owned by Microsoft, as far as I know, but it is free, and go ahead and 4X that artwork make it four times as big as it is now, and that should be plenty big enough for what we need to use it for. Now, if you wanted to blow this up and use it on like a billboard, it still probably wouldn't be large enough. You would need to pay to have it continue to be enlarged even bigger. So to keep that in mind, I know a lot of people struggle with the idea of how do I actually make this image usable 
for a physical product and big JPEG is one of the ways that I do that. All right, so I'm signed into Printify. Again, if you don't have Printify, go ahead and sign up with the link below because you're gonna need that for the next step. If you want to make money with artificial intelligence with physical products like this, which I highly recommend, this is going to be another free tool. Again, the goal is to get you started with very, very low budget, very low investment, get your sales flowing, get your cash flow going, and then later on you can look into investing in stock and real estate and building up other business ideas that you have and doing those other things, right? We're trying to start with a low risk business. I'm gonna choose pillows and covers. And again, guys, Printify and print on demand in general. Why do I teach it? Because I feel like it can help anyone. You don't need hardly anything to get started, especially if you're going on Etsy. You know, you need 20 cents for each listing that you want to upload, but you're not actually investing in any of this inventory. You're not paying the $13 for the pillow. Once a customer buys from you, then you're going to owe the $13. Printify is gonna go and actually create your product, and then you're going to keep the difference. So sell this for around $29 and you'll have a nice profit. Everyone wins, everyone's happy. It's a really beautiful business model and you never actually have to touch the products. So of course, you're not going to stay on Etsy for forever, but it is definitely a great stepping stone for anyone getting started. Highly recommend following the print on demand strategies that I've laid out on this channel for free. So once we choose pillows, and covers, there are a few options here. There are actual pillows that are stuffed and ready to go, and then there are pillow cases, and there are different materials. In this case, it would be polyester. Um, there's also faux suede. You also have, looks like outdoor pillows, waterproof pillows, many different options. I'm going to focus on the polyester square pillowcase. Again, you can choose a different pillowcase if you wanted to, but I would make sure that they have at least a United States factory to be able to ship out in at least two days, three days, getting those packages out the door quickly. It's one of the reasons why I left drop shipping behind and sold my drop shipping brand. I generated over $500,000 in revenue from a drop shipping brand when I first got started. I decided to actually leave it behind and sell it because the shipping times were horrendous trying to ship from China and that's when I fell in love with print on demand so you have a few options here you can actually stretch this image to where it is covering both the front and the back of the pillow or you could simply fit it to uh, where it needs to be and then add it to both the front and the back of the pillow in order to add another design all you need to do is click on this button down here that says add design and then you'll be able to actually add in another you click on this copy button and duplicate button as well and it will add in a duplicate to where you could essentially fit it onto the pillow on both the front and the back. In this case, I'm going to stretch it to where it fits the pillow entirely, front and back with the same graphic. All right, so I don't think that looks bad at all. I think that looks pretty good. Personally, I'm not in this niche though. That's for my customers to decide, not me. Also pay attention to the fact the resolution is still very high for this image because we took it over to Big JPEG. Whereas if we didn't do that, it would say low resolution or medium resolution, and then it would turn out blurry on the end product. And so then we'll simply hit the save product button. This is going to save our product as a draft. Up here is where your mockups will appear. You'll want to choose your mockups based off of which one is going to be the most attractive from the search page for anyone looking for this type of product. So something that clearly shows and displays the pillow. Also preferably something that maybe has a mock-up scene behind it. So a couch or a living room or some sort of scene. However, if we look at our competition, they seem to keep their photos pretty simple, nothing too distracting. They let the pillow design do the selling, not the background or anything else. So don't distract from the actual pillow itself. And so let's jump back over into Printify. Up here for the title, if we're going for Etsy, then we're going to basically put our search terms in the title and our most important search term is gonna go first. So if we didn't know what keywords we wanted to rank for, we could come back over 
over to our inspiration and it seems like they are ranking for winter fox hello elegant snowy forest scene blue and white throw cushion with fox and fox lover gift if we come down here to their tags i'm using etsy hunt there's a link below for that as well highly recommend it to see what other tags they're also using so thanksgiving hello farmhouse decor cottage core pillow rustic farmhouse housewarming gift these are all different tags that they're using so you would come back in here with your title and you would put in the most important tags first and then afterwards you would fill in the rest of your tags but you also want it to be attractive enough that a human is going to want to click on it you can't just fill it with tags and not put any commas or bars or parentheses or something to make it readable for people as well. So be sure to make it both search engine optimized, but also human optimized, right? We want it to be something that people actually trust and want to click on. So once your image is selected and your title is in place, you have your description. I would go ahead and space out the description, make it a little easier to read. Go ahead and put in some of your keywords here as well. You can go over to ChatGPT and take your title and then ask it to basically create a product description for Etsy using this title and it will go through and create a description for you. For simplicity's sake, I'm just going to move forward without editing the description too much. The description is not super important with Etsy. Etsy is a very visual platform so text comes secondary shipping go ahead and just automatically assign a new shipping profile unless you've already created a pillow in that case you would go ahead and use whatever shipping profile you used before and then go ahead and just keep those organized by whenever you need to update the price of your shipping all of your pillows will get updated and then you can keep your t-shirts in a separate shipping profile, et cetera. When in doubt, if you don't know what else to do, just go ahead and automatically assign a new shipping profile. And then for pricing, you're going to want to give yourself anywhere from a 40 to 50% profit margin, maybe even higher depending on your strategy. So what do I mean by that? You're gonna want a 60% profit margin if you want to offer your customers like a 20% discount, you're gonna want that extra profit margin built in so that you can offer those things. But if you're only wanting to come in and offer a 10% discount whenever you have sales, then your profit margin doesn't need to be quite as high. So that's dependent on what kind of sales you want to run. Personally for myself, I run 15% and 10% sales. So I keep my profit margin right around 50%. So in that case, it puts us right around the retail price of 19, 14, but there are also Etsy fees involved. The Etsy fees end up being about 9%. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just add this and round this up to 1995. Anytime I'm selling something on Etsy or a marketplace or even Shopify and Facebook ads, I've always made it a habit of ending the price in 95. Um, some people do 99, some people do 90. It's really just a matter of preference. This has always worked well for me. A lot of people do 97. I would highly encourage you not to do $20. I've tried this before. I've split test this before to see if people prefer just a straight up whole, whole number Number. It's not the case. This always will convert better for whatever reason. Psychologically, it makes it feel a little bit more affordable than if you're just saying $20. So make sure your profit margin is at least around 50%. If you have a more expensive product, if you have, if you're not selling pillows and you have something more expensive, then you might, you might get away with a lower profit margin, but let's stick with pillows for the purpose of this video. I'm going to hide in store as far as product visibility goes, and then I'm going to only show the in stock variants. I'm going to sync the mockups. And then whenever I hit publish, this is going to get pushed over to my Etsy store. It's going to go into the drafts because I selected hide in store. So go ahead and go to your listing page and then go to drafts and then you'll be able to publish this. Now, one thing we didn't do was tags. So you'll need to go in here and actually do the tags. If you have Etsy hunt, you can copy your competitors tags and start with those. And of course, remove some and put in your own if you want to. Um, but this is a good way to get started is just to copy your competitors tags and start with that. Then essentially what will happen is once you publish this, once you hit publish down here, you'll be able to actually push this product to any other stores that you are synced to inside of Printify. So Printify can sync to Etsy, TikTok shop, Walmart, Amazon, Shopify, and you can duplicate this product listing that we just made over to those other marketplaces. 
So everyone knows from watching my content that I make the most from selling on Shopify and with Facebook and Instagram ads. However, there are many different ways to make money with e-commerce and print on demand. Amazon Merch, Etsy program is amazing. The T Public program, Display, many, many different programs that you can get into. And especially as a beginner, this is a great way to get started. But Printify will sync up with many of these channels and allow you to create the product once and then push it to many different channels. So be sure to grab Printify, it's free, it's linked below. Be sure to start using Leonardo AI. You get 150 credits every single day to create these designs that you can use in print on demand and you can sell. Like the video if you got value, comment below with any questions you have. There is a free Facebook group if you're interested in growing your print on demand business or starting your print on demand business, join the free Facebook group. If you need one-on-one -on -one assistance, we can jump on a Zoom call, schedule that call below. And if you're interested in group coaching, applications are open at the moment. You can apply for group coaching. It is a one-time fee and then you'll be in our group essentially where every single week we are sharing strategies and tips and products and things that I just cannot share here on YouTube. It's a lot more one-on-one -on -one interaction with me and a lot more group interaction with me. So be sure to apply for that down below. Hope you have an amazing day, create something awesome, and I'll see you in the next video.